Dungeon of Dread. <clears throat> if we move quickly before they notice us and attack, we can surely defeat them, you whisper. Climb up on top of this boulder and grab a rock. When I give the signal, you drop the rock on top of the nearest goblin. Are you crazy? whispers Lars. I don't want to drop a rock on its head. Listen, Lars, this is no time to argue. Just do as I say. We'll talk about this later. The halfling bumbles into his beard, but scrambles onto the boulder and clutches the rock to his chest. As the goblins pass by, you holler now, and Loris drops the boulder on Bloomfell, the goblin closest to you, and it falls to the ground. Before Scrag can draw his sword, you leap out and fling yourself upon the evil goblin. You take the goblin by surprise, knocking it to the ground. It rolls out from under you and swings its sword into your shoulder. Enraged, you lasso the goblin with your own sword, and the goblin crumples onto the ground. You take some cloth from your pouch and begin to bind the wound. Here, let me help, says Laris, scrambling down the boulder. He takes some more cloth from your pouch and binds the wound as best he can. As you start to leave the corridor, Laris stumbles and falls to the ground. He sits on something, rubbing his foot. Oh, I've stubbed my toe on a stupid rock, he says. He grabs a rock and starts to throw it against the wall, then stops suddenly. What's this? he asks. Will you look at the size of this thing? It's an emerald as large as a pigeon's egg. I've never seen anything so pretty. Lara sighs, then reluctantly hands it to you. Handing you back, you say, if it hadn't been for your help, we might not have succeeded. Loris grins and puts it carefully in his pocket. The two of you cover all signs of struggle in the area, and then continue down the corridor. Soon the corridor divides. The passage on the right is dimly lit and quite silent, and the passage on your left opens into a small room. From the light of the torches in the corridor, you see one large and several smaller dog-like creatures. They are yapping, yelping, and barking. You reach for your sword, and suddenly the adult dog disappears, and then re reappears a full three feet away from where it first stood. The pups also disappear and reappear behind the larger creature. Dogs, said Lars. I hate dogs. They like to chase me because I'm so little. Show them who's the master cleric. Chase the mutts away. I don't know, you replied. These are blink dogs. They can be tricky. They're smart and hard to hit if you ever have to fight them. This was a, uh, this wasn't even a close, uh, voting last time. Attacking won by a landslide. Here's the new voting. One, if you wish to attack the blink dogs. Ooh, sorry about that. Two, if you decide to try and make friends with the blink dogs, vote two. So, vote one to attack them. Vote two to make friends with them. Sorry that this one came out late. I got sick with a stomach bug. <laughs> 